Hey everyone, in today's video we are going to talk about ink cartridges and ink converters. And as I was looking through my drawers, I found my Pelican M200. It was actually hidden in this case. I love this case. This is a transparent case. It's so convenient. It really helps you to find things very easily, very quickly. So let me just take out all the ink cartridges and converters that I have in this box. I have quite a lot of them here. So let me put this away. I have separated the ink cartridges and the ink converters. Now I want to try and make this video as comprehensive as possible, but I do not have all the cartridges and converters out there. So I can only talk about what I have today. So these are the ink cartridges that I have. Now the thing with ink cartridges is once you use them up, you have to buy refills or you can refill them yourself, but it's a bit inconvenient because these ink cartridges, they are not um, built with mechanism for refills. So to refill something like this, when the ink runs out, I use a blunt needle and syringe. This is an inexpensive way to refill ink cartridges. I would just uh, put the needle in and squeeze the ink inside the ink cartridge and then put this back into the pan. But if you have ink converters, then it's going to be so much easier because they have mechanisms that help you refill ink so quickly and easily. This is a twist type ink converter. So you can see that little plunger that moves up and down as you twist the back. And there's this little spring here. This is to move the ink and air bubble around so that the feet will have access to the ink. If the air bubble is always stuck here, then there's going to be ink flow issues. So as the spring moves up and down, it will push the ink around so you can have access to the ink at all times. Now there is a variation of this particular converter and it's this one. There is also a plunger, but the mechanism for moving the plunger is this. So you push and pull this part here and you can move it up and down. Personally for me, I prefer to use this, but this sort of plunger is actually a bit rare. The reason why I like this is because it's really easy to flush out ink. So with one quick movement like this, you can just push the ink out and you can do this several times very quickly versus um, using the twist type converter. So whenever possible, I would try to look for um, converters like this. It makes cleaning pens really fast, really easy. So these are the two um, different types of sort of like a plunger type converter. Let's take a look at something else. The brand of this converter is the Duke. And here I have another twist type converter. This is a Pilot Con 50, if I'm not wrong. So they have this mechanism as well to push the ink around. This is also a twist type converter. This is also from Pilot. This is a Pilot Con 70. This is a much larger ink converter compared to the Pilot Con 50, so it holds more ink. Now this is a push type converter, so you will attach it to the fountain pen feet and you push like this, the ink will get sucked up. It's quite easy to use as well. And they have this mechanism inside to push their air bubble and ink around. I like this converter as well. Now, because of the size, this ink converter can only fit fit larger pens and this one will go into smaller pens. You have to make sure that you get the right size for your fountain pens. Some of these converters look quite similar so it can be difficult to differentiate them. For example, this one is the Pilot, this is the Sailor, this is a Schmidt and these two converters notice that they do not have that thing that pushes the ink around. This is just a simple twist type converter with, without that thing. This is a converter without any label on it. 
This is actually a platinum ink converter. And here, this is a Lamy ink converter. Speaking of Lamy, when I first bought the Lamy Safari fountain pen, which is this fountain pen here, it did not come with an ink converter. It comes with those ink cartridges, those disposable ones. I had to buy the ink converter separately. So whenever you buy a fountain pen, do check to see if they include the ink converter. If not, it's always better to buy the ink converter because if you keep buying refills like this, it's going to uh, cost more in the long run. So it's definitely more economical to buy ink converters and use them. Ink converters are usually not interchangeable. So these fountain pens here, they may look quite similar, but they are of different brands. So the ink converters, they are not interchangeable. For example, here I have with me a Pilot fountain pen. This uses the Pilot Con 50 or Con 70. The Pilot ink converter cannot be used in this platinum fountain pen. And the ink converter for this platinum fountain pen cannot be used in this Sailor fountain pen. This is a Namiki fountain pen. And this actually uses the Pilot ink converter. So these two are, uh, this, the ink converter for these two pens, they are interchangeable. And this Super 5, I think it uses some generic ink converter. So you may actually uh, be able to fit something generic, be able to use something generic for this. Nope, this um, doesn't fit. So you do have to find out what uh, fits what is compatible with the fountain pen that you are using if it doesn't come with an ink converter in the first place. For the Sailor fountain pens that I have, the ink converter is interchangeable. I cannot say that to all Sailor pens, but for the ones that I have, they are actually interchangeable. So I can use this on this expensive one or on this uh, Fude Nip or with this beginner's fountain pen. When the brand of the ink converter is different from the pen, sometimes when you put the ink converter in, it's a bit loose. Sometimes it may not even go in. Some brush pens also use ink converters. So here I have with me a Kuretake number 50 brush pen. The ink converter is not provided, so they come with disposable ink cartridges like this, but the Kuretake brush pen is actually compatible with the platinum ink converter, which is this one here. So it fits nicely and you can refill this with ink very easily compared to using the needle and syringe for refilling this. The other brush pen that I have is the Pentel pocket brush pen. This is an affordable brush pen but it uses disposable ink cartridges. I've been trying to find a compatible ink converter for this brush pen for the longest time, but I have not been successful. So if you do know of any ink converter that is compatible with this, let me know in the comment section below. I have been refilling this with the needle and syringe since the day I bought this brush pen. The other Pentel brush pen that I have is this Pentel color brush pen. Now the ink cartridge is actually the whole body. And this ink cartridge, if you were to buy it as a refill, it's quite expensive. It's like buying a new pen. So for me, I will refill it with the help of this needle and syringe. There's actually a video that I have made a few months ago on how you can refill this. You might want to check that out. I'll put the link in the video description below. The last type of ink converter that I have in my possession that I want to show you is in this Kaweco Spot fountain pen. This is a rubber sack type of ink converter. So to fill ink, you have to squeeze like this. I do not like this ink converter because it's very difficult for me to fill this up completely completely compared to other types of ink converter. Let's see if I can find any ink converter that I have currently that can fit into this fountain pen. So let's try this. Nope, it doesn't fit. Let's try this. 
oh this actually fits this is a schmidt ink converter so let me try and put the body back on now this fountain pen is the shortest fountain pen that i have to use this large ink converter it's not possible obviously so i'm just going to put this back so far the ink converters that i have shown you are the detachable ones there are actually fountain pens with built-in ink refilling mechanisms for example my favorite fountain pen the pelican m200 has built-in ink refilling this is the twist type converter that is built into the pen so you just twist to push the plunger up and down and this particular pen can hold a lot of ink compared to ink converters like this and that's one of the reasons why i love this pen because you don't have to refill this as often you can draw for a very long time with such a large ink capacity other pens that i have that have built in ink refill systems are the noodles ahab so this is the piston or plunger type converter that is built into the pen it makes cleaning this pen so easy you can have a cup of clean water and put the pen inside and you can just uh, push and pull this and you can clean this under a minute and you can clean this very thoroughly and that's what i love about this let's see this is the noodles ahab i have the noodles conrad this is a twist type converter that is built into the pen so you just turn the back and you can see the piston move up and down one disadvantage of this ink refill system is if you want to clean them you have to dismantle the pen versus if you want to clean this ink converter you can just pull it out from your fountain pen and clean it it's very easy another disadvantage is to maintain this sometimes you may have to add some lube another disadvantage is to maintain this sometimes you have to add some lubricant inside the system to make sure that the plunger can still move smoothly the thing here the knob here at the back you can still turn it freely i have fountain pens that i haven't been using for a long time and the plunger actually got stuck because something inside dried out the last ink refilling system i want to show you is the vacuum refilling system i have two pens that use this method this is the twisty vac 700 this is the pilot custom 823 so what it does is you would pull the plunger up like this to create a vacuum and when you push it down when this pen is in the ink bottle when you push it down the vacuum will break and the air and the ink will come rushing into the body here and as you can see the body is large so this pen this can hold a lot of ink a lot more ink compared to my favorite pelican m100 it's i will say about three times more ink compared to this i don't really use this pen because um, it's a bit large for me i prefer something a bit smaller and, and a bit more portable if you want to see the refill process you can check out the video review for the twisty vac 700 i haven't made any video reviews for this pilot pen yet so to conclude it's always better to get ink converters because they will help you save money in the long run however if you are unable to find an ink converter that is compatible with the pen that you use i would recommend you get a blunt needle and syringe something like this to help you refill those disposable ink cartridges this particular syringe has a 1 ml capacity so even for large cartridges like this it would take two refills um, to fill it up completely and it doesn't make a mess it's really easy to use and this is quite affordable if you are interested to get this you can find a 
product link in the video description below. So that's all for today's video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. If you want to check out reviews for the fountain pens that I have featured, you can find the links in the video description below. Thank you for watching. I hope this video is helpful. See you in the next one. Bye.